y'all. Today's Discover E challenge is a chilly one. Your challenge is to create a container to keep an ice cube from melting. So this is where we need to start thinking like an engineer. And to do that, we first must identify the problem. The most critical step of any engineering challenge is to understand the problem you are trying to solve. The problem we are trying to solve is heat transfer. Heat transfer is the movement of thermal energy from one thing to another of a different temperature. The laws of physics tell us that heat tends to distribute itself evenly. Understanding the principle of heat transfer helps engineers design things like thermoses, roofing shingles, materials to keep spacecraft from burning up, and many other things. For this challenge, this is when the heat in the air of the room is transferred to the ice cube, causing it to melt. Insulation is any material that reduces heat transfer. For this challenge, we need to think of ways to use insulation. Think about our homes. Insulation is used in the walls of our homes. This helps keep the inside of our homes warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Insulation in containers can help to keep things hot or cold. Again, think back to the thermos. Now it's time to collect the materials for our challenge. You can use anything you'd like, but here are some suggestions of what you might want to use. A cardboard box of some kind, tape, paper or wax paper, aluminum foil, rubber bands, plastic containers, be creative. You could use old rags, shirts, towels, anything at all. Anything you think might work. And of course, don't forget your ice cubes. Now it's time to brainstorm. Take a look at your materials and start to build. Once you are done building, it's time to test. Make a prediction first. Do you think the ice will melt faster in your insulated box, or do you think that your design will work? All right, you'll need your device and you'll need a separate bowl. This bowl is your control, and a control is essential to most experiments because you can't tell whether what you're doing is working if you don't have the control. So you're going to put one ice cube in your device and one ice cube in your bowl. You're gonna set a timer for 90 minutes, Take a photo, maybe before, and uh, go relax. Once your 90 minutes is up, come back and observe. What do both ice cubes look like? Take a photo. Did the ice cube in your container melt quicker than the cube in your bowl? Examine your insulated container. Do you see any flaws? Would you design it differently if you did this again? So bottom line, the less heat loss there is in a container, the less energy is required to keep that container at the desired temperature. Think of a freezer. If we open the door, there's no longer anything keeping the heat from entering, which would melt my ice cream, which is bad. Close the door. Hope you enjoyed this challenge. Please share your results and your photos with us. And thank you to Discovery for having this awesome challenge.